welcome to another Navigate Tuesday tip. I'm Ebony Hall. So today we're going to talk about the EIV existing tenant search. As you know, you must run this report before an applicant moves, but there seems to be some confusion on when to run this report and who to run it on. In the last 60 days, as a result of MORs or incoming calls from managers, we've had at least 10 types of correspondence. It appears some managers are running the report after the resident moves in. Some are doing it when they place the applicant on the waiting list, and others are waiting until the applicant's name comes up on the waiting list to process a move in. Also, we find managers that only run the report on adult household members instead of all household members. The last notice on the multifamily side was H-2013-06, and it states, Owner agents must use the existing tenant search in the EIV system as part of their screening criteria for new tenants and must include written policies for using the search in their tenant selection plan. It also states the owner agent must use this report at the time they are processing an applicant for admission to determine if the applicant or any applicant household members are currently being assisted at another multifamily housing or public and Indian housing location. So the correct procedure is to wait until the applicant is being processed for move in. There are three problems that exist when the existing tenant search report is not processed correctly. Number one, processed after move in. The applicant may be receiving dual subsidy if the report was not run prior to move in. Number two, process when placed on the waiting list. Too much time can expire and the applicant may be on assistance. Remember, they came to you looking for housing and their quest probably didn't stop with you. And number three, if the report is not run on all household members, the dependents can be counted in the subsidy of another property. This happens way too often and management is responsible for paying back $480 per dependent to HUD. So please, keep these tips on processing procedures for existing tenant search in mind and you can avoid an MRI finding. Thanks so much for watching and we look forward to you tuning in for next week's Tuesday Tip. Have a great day.